Hello Taurus, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. Here is your zodiac. Uh, as per usual, I shuffle the cards till something pops out and then I go online to <clears throat> cut the deck. Oh, bottom of the deck. Ace of Earth. Ace of Coins. This is about a brand new beginning that is uh, like a reward from the heavens because it was heavenly inspired. Brand new beginning that's tangible, uh, promises a, a future of abundance. Your crowning energy is the High Priestess, and this is about following your intuition. Some things are still hidden. There are some events that still need to take place before all things are revealed. But that is the way of life. Ace of Water, so this is another new beginning. A new beginning in love, or falling in love either with a new love or a renewal of love like looks like you're just following your intuition through all of this but we have new beginnings and you seem to have options too there may be some confusion as to what to do about all these options this could be work related or love related five of earth this is about feeling left out in the cold this is a very short term period you can see that your head is already turned and you're noticing something that was there all along and there are five pentacles seeds to be planted and your ships are coming in this is you you're so happy about these ships coming in that you jumped in the boat to bring it into shore navigating it in i'll be the captain messenger of earth not afraid to get their hands dirty. That's probably you, Taurus. Willing to work. Willing to work on a relationship. Work at a, a, a passionate project of yours. Feeling stuck. Perhaps that brings into the options card the confusions. Um, there's confusion as to what to do. Feeling stuck. At the heart is the four of air. So you're going through some kind of spiritual healing. Okay, so it's starting to unfold now. Someone from the past coming back. You're looking back at the past and grieve. You're still grieving. You're still in a mourning stage over a past relationship that seems to be coming back. And the universe is calling. For you to connect with spirit your higher self there was some growth here that would needed to be done this everything happens for a reason taurus queen of fire so this could be you the way this person sees you as just um like a cat on a hot tin roof attractive independent they uh, know what they want they get what they want A magnet a people magnet three of earth this is working together team effort this could be you and a you know a pen, potential partner or you and family members working on a project whatever it is Taurus you have help there's help there for you we're gonna open up this store and see what's going on have in store for Taurus here so is it a renewal of love or is someone come into the picture oh boy we have the king of wands and we have the queen of wands so now we have a pair and they're both fire this is like to me these two are like twin twin flame energies true love soulmate some this is clarifying the high priestess some things are still hidden from you but this this king if you are the queen this is the king looking at you and boy is he hot for you this man though let's do re role reversals here they um are loyal faithful a good family person 
or father, a good business person. They are problem solvers, good providers. And they could have been players when they were younger or, you know, this could be you, Taurus, I don't know. But once they find that person, um, it's stuck in them. It's, it's, they move heaven and hell to be with them, make you their queen or vice versa. The queen make you their king. Justice. Justice is coming in for you. So if this was about a past relationship, there's going to be a balancing here. A balancing of the scales. Yeah, this guy could have been a player or girl. Could have been a player. But this looks more like you heading down your path. This well, be careful, Catherine. Okay. We've got the king and the knight. So as the knight, he was a player. He didn't really have to look for dates. They came to him. And they can scan faces for years and years until they find the one. And it looks like he found the one in you. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Realizing that they're in love with you. Took them a while to figure it out, but they realized they were in love with you. And they see their path as clear. Or you see your path as clear. Some funny energies going on here, Taurus. Uh, working hard. Here you are, working hard. You've got all these options, but I think you're just focused on your coin. And actually focused on you. Focused on how to make things right. This is a really good feeling card for me here because of this options card. And it's, if you don't know, you'll just work. Try to make sure, Taurus, you get your rest. This could be sneaky energy, sneaking around and why you feel left out in the cold. Or it could be that you just left a situation, like you'd have it, had enough. There was too many uh, arguments and it was too much, too much chaos. And you cut your losses and headed out the door. Now you feel left out in the cold. But you are not realizing yet that there are still these two swords left behind. Still an open door for communication. Still you are just about to see those five pentacles you left behind. Here is an opportunity for you. This is God-given. This is not something that is a repeated cycle this time you think it's a repeated cycle the same of the same old you're not ready you don't want any of it and look at this is not a human being offering it it's it's spirit so if it's coming in the form of a human being believe you me it has been spirit inspired and look at the mermaid there she's not concerned in the least she's gonna wait until you get out of your defensive mode because your ships are coming in and look at this work at it Taurus working at it pays off this brand new beginning see the child that means beginning and the sun is going to shine on you that's a like a happy prosperous card feeling stuck well there's a message coming in this is like the night that saved the day the night in shining armor the night that may not be you know say it He'll communicate it. Um, the message is going to bring clarity to the situation. Help you make that decision. Unstick you. Four of air. You're spiritually healing. Your love. And this is divinely guided. There is a healing taking place between the two of you. Separately but together it the six of water this person coming back from the past uh you, you feel betrayed you stabbed you in the back uh, just killed the relationship to the point of no return you had to leave the situation but the call here is to go within taurus to go within to heal 
there may be some physical healing that that needs to be taking place too i'm not talking that deep if your partner beat you up and you ended up in the hospital don't go back but there is a call here to look after yourself do some self-care self-nurturing there's going to be some revelations for you through this high priestess through this this call it may come to you in a dream <coughs> Queen of Fire. Again, the options card. Confusion. Not sure what to do. <clears throat> this message coming in is going to change that. The Three of Earth means they want to work together. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the Independence card. And yes, you could decide to be independent and single. And it may be wise for a while, while the both of you work on your issues. Uh, no conditions on the other person. That is not how you fix a problem with a couple. You fix yourself. You cannot put conditions on another human being. They have their own path to walk. And if you cannot vibrate and harmonize with that person, with their faults, then um, it is time for you to leave the situation. And wait for spirit to draw the right vibration to you. This does not mean you have to lower your standards. It just means you have to work on you. That's the call here. So what's beautiful about being independent, being the single person here. And you're not alone. You're not really single. You're not, you've got support here. This is a step away from being an empress. An empress is not alone. An empress has her emperor. This woman is actually happy. It's not that she's happy about being independent. She's happy that she's almost at the 10 completion. She's an empress. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm going to open up more of this story over the website for the cost of one extended reading. Guys, you get all of the extended readings of all the Zodiacs for a month. Um, also, all the daily afternoon delights. And as an added bonus, you can ask me a question under one of those extended readings and I'll happily pull you a card. That's the best part for me. I love doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook pulling a card today and personal readings are open again. So God bless you, Taurus. Thank you for your support. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you over there. Bye for now.